You're on a business trip. You guys are businessmen. You're doing your thing. You're traveling. Uh, you meet this beautiful girl. She's classy. She's successful. She's smart. You really enjoy her company. She's 27 years old. She's an accountant. She makes 100 grand a year, and she has a three-year-old son. The good news is he's potty trained. Uh, <laughs> where do you gentlemen with no kids that I know about go from here? McQueen. She's done. She's just getting hit, and that's it. So you're banging her. Yeah, for sure. And then what happens? I mean, sayonara, bitch, you know? That's would it. Would you like to her to get in her pants, or would you be like, yeah, I'm only here to fuck? Like, well, I mean, if I do, do I know that she has a kid from the get go? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Then, yeah, no, I mean, I'm just immediately just trying to fuck. That's it, for sure. That's no, it. Would so you that tell is, her that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. David, you meet this girl. What do you do? I made this mistake last time. Mm. Oh. Uh oh. And uh, found out the hard way. That's actually kind of how I came bad. upon some of these podcasts about mm. the really? red pill stuff. Yeah. I what think was the situation? I'm sorry. Single mom had been divorced. Um, I think the problem is that men look at that very differently than the women do. It's hard mm -hmm. to get our perspectives to be aligned, right? So okay. her perspective was very defensive. It wasn't, I made bad choices in life that brought me here. I'm grateful someone's given me a chance. It was, my kid's amazing. I'm amazing. You're lucky to be here. It was mm. very hard to get on the perspective I had, which was, this is definitely not ideal. Mm. I'm going out of my comfort zone. I'm expecting quite a bit of appreciation on it. And they were like, I don't owe you anything. Thanks, Some feminism. Guy, right? Guy, <laughs> Am I right? And uh, it was like, that was a bad <laughs> Best. Troy, you're at the club. You meet this gorgeous girl. You know her uh, situation. She's got the three-year-old. His name's Dylan, by the way. Oh. Um, <laughs> nice what name. are you doing with the girl? I mean, look, I personally, for me, I wouldn't want to get into something serious with a woman who has a kid. That's just no, no disrespect to single mothers. That's just, okay. that's just in my life. That's just not something that I would want to take on. So it, it would have to be casual, and I, I would make that pretty clear up front. You'd be I mean, up front. You're I not going to do the I mean, queen approach I, where you just gotcha, bitch. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I, I mean, look. I mean, the way that. The way that I tend to move, I'm not going to be sitting down with her and, you know, if this is kind of a one night stand situation, sitting down to her and say, right, just to be clear, these are the terms of our engagement. I'm not going to be that sort of specific about it. But she's going to kind of know from my vibe. She's going to get the, the, the idea. Because I'm traveling a lot anyway. Do you know what I mean? So the whole setup is not going to be one that is likely to be leading towards something long term. But so that would be my answer. I mean, effectively the same as McQueen's, but I'd probably soften the blow a little Kevin, bit. Kevin, do you have a different response? I don't avoid single moms. I've dated a few single moms, but I've found a selfish trait amongst most of them. There's not one single mom that I haven't dated who has not said something to the effect of, you know, what's important about you being around is I want my kid to see mm -hmm. his or her mother being loved right. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I'm like, what do you want? Fucking make out in front of the kid? He's already Impossible. confused enough as it yeah. is. He's yeah. wondering where's dad and who the mm -hmm. fuck is this? That's all the kid is wondering. Any of us that had step parents and shit, mm -hmm. most of us mm -hmm. met our step parents like three o'clock in the morning, somebody's drunk and it's like, son, Jim is here because oh, your Jesus. father ain't shit. <laughs> and it's like very confusing. So I really do um, take children and their, their youth and upbringing and innocence very serious. So really I don't give a shit what the mom wants. I'm thinking in terms of like, what's best for the kid that you have. I'll think for your kid before you do and think all this is gonna bring him is confusion. You need to keep, completely keep these worlds separate. If you're gonna mm. fuck with so you're saying that she should not date anymore? No. Or she's no, saying she should stay with the guy? No, What's but a solution? lot of them are probably not you because you're, you know, just savage I was like, and I'm shit. Very yeah, no, I know you're different in, in every way, and that's yeah. why everybody loves you. But I mean, um, <laughs> no, but this eagerness to like find the replacement stepdaddy thing yeah. is, I've now, never, I've never not come. Last up. question for the guys, never and then I'm gonna turn it. it over to the girls. Um, would it be different? Would you have a different perspective if you actually had a kid already? So you're almost doing like a Brady Bunch situation. Yeah, yeah but I don't. These guys don't. No. So, no? No. So you're because just not trying to raise someone else's kid? No, because it's like, now if I have my own kid, now I got two little niggas I got to take care of. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Nobody wants that. And yeah. same thing. Now my kid's wondering where's mom and who's this thought. Got it. Okay. Same thing. Troy, if you had Confuse a kid, would you be a little more comfortable? Uh, no, because I came from a, you know, I, I, my parents divorced and then we got sort of put together into another family and I mean it, you know that was problematic it's not always like like Kevin was saying I mean when you when you think about the kids in these situations being brought up you know that there can be a lot of problems in those situations so I, I okay. would be very even if I had a kid I'd be very wary about just sort of like gotcha. shoving Ladies, it together here's where I need your help uh, how many people here have kids Tracy Janelle put a green so there's two of you ladies like, yeah. okay um, don't look around look right at me Raise your red or your green. Should men date single moms? Hold it up high. 
Hold it up high. Pixie, we have... Okay, guys, I, I don't <laughs> flicker it. They're in between. We have red, we have green, 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 green. So most of it is green. <clears throat> Four or five of you is red. So Tracy, you put your green up yes. because you're a single mom. Yes. Tell us on why one of these gentlemen should be your new boy toy, baby daddy situation. No, I think that things... There's people in the world for everybody. I don't think anyone should be my son's father. I think someone that's going to come to my life will love me and eventually end up loving my son. But I am not looking for a baby daddy. I am okay. looking for a partner. Mm. I'm listening and that's very the closely difference. to this one. So, <laughs> so nobody's replacing that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, so what would you say to the guy that's like, I don't even know. You're hot. You're cool. You're great. I can't even get over the fact that you have a kid, and as dope as you are, I, I'm mentally blocked. Then that means you're that that's not the person for me. Not Got quite it. what I was saying, I, but go okay. ahead. Yeah. Can I jump on what sure, you said? Sure, yeah. Because I have a lot to say, and I'll be brief, but I want to make a few points. First of all, you guys are all obviously talented and very much so respected in your field, including oh, no. yourself. And I know your battle with having children back and forth. But What's my the, battle? Right. Well, you said you're yeah. ambivalent. I'm going to have kids one day. Yeah, with, one day, uh, but the, like when you were always like asking your friends, you really like it? Like, you know. What's sex, guys? Okay. I've never heard of this anyway, thing. Anyway. <laughs> what do you do with this? Complimenting us when they're naked. Something. I have no clue. I will say, yeah. first of all, as there's a lot of single moms who have given single moms like myself a really bad rap. And they use men for resources, and they put their children before their serious committed persons whoever, if they're married or not, before their, their needs, like their spouse's needs, right? And I don't agree with that, if it's a long-term serious thing. So I think that that's to be said for why probably a lot of you, and more reason you said, I don't, I don't wanna raise two, two kids. And that's honest, and I appreciate that. However, what I will say, the men that I've met and that I've dated, and that have proposed to me, um, they wanted to marry me and they wanted to be a stepfather to my son if, yeah. if I wanted that, yeah. right? Now, mm -hmm. the thing about me that's different for most women is even though I'm very masculine in how I'm speaking now because I'm trying to make a point, I'm very feminine. And I la let the man take the lead. And I don't um, try to say, my son and I are so cool, we're the best. No, I let a man be gracious to me because I'm feminine and I serve his needs. I make sure his sexual needs are served. I make sure that his tummy is full. And my son never goes without, trust me. He, he's, had, he's been to 14, 15 countries already. Yeah. So I think the difference is that some men, no disrespect to y'all, right. are not cut out for that because it takes a very extremely high alpha man, I think, that would be willing to say, listen, I saw all of you grimace. I watched all your facial expressions. Hold on, let me finish. Let me finish momentarily. That will be willing to step in and raise someone else's son. That takes a very brave, bold man. And there are men out there in the world who will do it when they see the value of a woman that's serving them and saying, listen, did, yes. Did you say that there were men that wanted, openly came into your life and wanted yes. to help raise your kid? Yes. Where are they now? Well, I was going to tell Why you. Why didn't they make the cut? Well, first of all. Because it's so alpha. Okay. <laughs> hold on, hold on. First of all, I didn't choose that, and here's why. And I won't get into my personal. I'll just give you one example. He's very famous. He's in the personal development world. He's on Tony Robbins' stage, more than Tony is. So if you know the Tony mm. Robbins world, you know who he is, and he's your color. Anyways, he was a lot older than me, and he didn't want to have more children, and I do. I'm going to have at least one or two more. So for me, that was, uh, uh, he was very invested in my son, but I said, you know what? I, I'm waiting for that person who wants to have build our own family too. He adopts my son and we have one together. And so that's what I'm doing. And so I'm right now choosing to give my son a beautiful life. He travels with me around the world. I run my business. He gets to go to my retreats, et cetera. And that's what I do. And so I know I'm rare, but I do think it's a huge miss opportunity that men are passing on really good single moms like myself because they feel some type of way about it. And, and like she said, that's your prerogative. But you're all also missing the most feminine, nurturing woman on the planet, or that I've been told. That a girl. Troy, and then I'm going to come back to you ladies for a question. Go so ahead. So, I, listen, I completely respect what you said, and, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're a very inspiring woman, and it's, it's, it's great to hear you say that. I mean, my, my comment on that is, firstly, what you're doing is what a lot of women will do, which is kind of recontextualizing what alpha is. So I'll say, no, an alpha mm -hmm. man, you know, a stepdad is a, is a man who steps up. You know, the guy who's prepared to take on my children, that's my definition of alpha, okay? So you're defining alpha as that. 
Is that the the actual objective definition of alpha? Maybe not. Everyone maybe maybe you could argue that the guy who just goes around the world and smashes a load of girls and has a fantastic time is that not alpha? You would you would argue not because that's irresponsible. But that's another type of alpha. So that's the first True. thing. Second secondly, I was actually on um, I was on another podcast last night. I was talking to one of the girls there. She's got she's got a couple of kids. Okay, and she said that she's just recently got together with a dude. Okay, they've been together two months. It's a long-distance relationship, okay, because he's, he's in a different state. And he's already said to her, I want to marry you and I want to look after your kids after two months. Is that the action of an alpha male or is that the action of a guy who's needy and is saying that mm. because he's desperate to yeah. secure the, well, the that's, box? That's different that, from my scenario. We dated completely for, different yeah, to your scenario, but I'm just, I'm just saying that somebody saying I'm prepared to look after your kids is not in itself necessarily indicative mm -hmm. of alpha traits it could yeah, actually I mean, be indicative be. of the opposite let me, let me get McQueen's thoughts here McQueen uh, are you being sold on becoming uh, no the... he's not he doesn't want absolutely not he doesn't yeah, want to take care fight. I'm not hearing none of this shit, really. You got the simplest answers. Yeah, no, it's, you're, it's, you're not playing this game. No, because it's just like, okay. how you going to tell me I'm not out because I don't right. want to raise your fucking kids? You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. Like, he doesn't cool, want to raise his Yeah, like, all right, fine. I'm, I, I feel I'll like a really solid alpha is it can put up a really good risk-benefit analysis, right? There you go. So if the woman is a great exception to the rule, you freaking head over heels more than anything you've ever felt in your life, that could be different. Yeah. But for the average single mother that you meet, a very basic risk benefit analysis that you you could look on data that's already available you could look at the situation that you're presented with probably not the safest route to go i think the truth is that's what we're all doing and that's right and, and, and that's, that's a normal fine. thing to do that's, that's a responsible fine. thing and, to do and, and i no think that's what an telling, alpha would do at the end no of the day and no one's telling the other side that this shows up as a debit on the ledger so you're going to have to make up for it in another side because that's right. tasteful it, it creates an argument I, and i think we grimace well a lot of people across. do that i mean they look at they'll say oh that i don't count because i have a kid and i'm no, like that you don't count because you said that there's lots of things that aren't ideal but you can make educated decisions most women in their 20s and I will surpass all of them in regards to the characteristics that I bring to a man I believe and to his life. Okay, let me, yeah. Thank let you me for get that. Tracy Thank back in that. the mix because Tracy, you're so nice and sweet. <laughs> and you have a kid. How old is your kid? My son is four. Your son is four? Yeah. Uh, What's it been like bringing dudes around your kid? I don't bring dudes around my Ever. kid. Ever. Ever. That's the Never. answer. No. I'd say. So no guy has... I have my friends, people that he knows okay. growing up, but I do not bring men that are temporary in my life around my son. Okay, so what would it take to... Like, how quickly do you tell a guy you have a kid? Right away. Right away. Yeah. yeah. I think that's smart. Good girl. Yeah. yeah. There's no you point if he's just like, yeah, I'm out. It's like I'm, not, I'm not yeah. looking for somebody to think I don't have that. that yeah. I'm proud of that. I think as so, you should be. Yeah. yeah. I don't no need doubt. it. No yeah. doubt. Feel if shame because you like have a I kid. Said, that should like be the I proudest said, be, thing you have. A hundred percent. I am. Right. I, that's the yeah, that's best the part thing of the I've ever done. Everyone talks about the number one job a woman should have. The most important job is being a mother. Now, relationships sometimes don't work out, but you shouldn't be shamed because you have a kid. You should be definitely proud right. of having your kid. But how complicated mm -hmm. is it finding a partner as being a single mother? Well, it all depends on where you are, are in your life, right? Because for me personally, I'm in a point in my life right now where I'm not looking. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm single. I'm not looking. I'm expecting for when I'm ready emotionally to bring somebody on board that mm -hmm. will come with it. Got so it. whenever that happens is when I'll allow that space So last for piece myself. of advice before we move on. There's dudes out there. Like, I'll give you one story. I was seeing this girl. It was like on one or two. I didn't really realize she had a kid. But then I found mm -hmm. out she did. But I was like, you know, this girl's that awesome of a girl. Hold on, Tiff. <laughs> There's that awesome of a girl that I was like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. Let me see where this goes. Yeah. All right, we'll see. You know, we hung out one time. It was great. The second time we go to hang out, she goes, hey, sorry, I have to cancel. Both of my kids are sick. Oh, yeah. Sorry to cancel. I'm like, huh, you're, it's not even you canceling. It's because Dylan over here got a tummy <laughs> ache. And I stay over there, woman. Uh, no, nope, she's there. Um, stay there. It's that she got canceled. Uh, she canceled because of her kid. I'm like, I, this is really weird. I'm out. I hope your kid feels better. Here's some uh, Tums for the tummy ache. Peace out. Boom. So that was the problem. So what's your final piece of advice to guys considering dating a 
Single mother. Go for it. Well, I go for it. it. No, no, no. no. Her first or her first. Go ahead. Her and then Janelle, okay. final word. So for me is you have to take a lot into consideration that a woman, a, a woman, it doesn't, the child doesn't make her. So, you know, a woman can give you a lot of things. And what a woman with a kid can give you is a lot of experience. So peop, you won't have to deal with the bullshit because we've been through that already. So Got we're it. very straightforward and we'll get to the point. We want what we want and that's it. I think I think mother will prioritize their kid no matter what, though, right? right. And yeah. so yeah. for a man, yeah. if, if you're not okay with that, if you want to be number because, one, hold on, you're hold not going to be down with that. Even in even right. conventional. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got to go to the next one. Janelle, final word, yes. 10 seconds. Okay. Why should a guy sell me on dating a single mother? 10 seconds. Here's why. Because a lot of men are dissatisfied in their sexual life when they get into committed long-term relationships. Women are selfless. They pushed a child almost eight pounds out of their yoni with no drugs. We are selfless. So we'll be that much more selfless selfless with my partner. I treat my partner the same way I do my son minus the sex. So son. what I'm understanding is single moms better they, be a little more they can frisque be, in order to keep that man alive. What I'm saying is they have okay. the ability to be very selfless and put that that man first. Every and put guy that has a kid it. with his wife is screaming right now saying that's not what happened. <laughs> 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 they, have, they have the ability to. Okay. Because yeah. even, well, even in conventional well, marriages there's often the case where the, the husband will say no the sex has tailed off now we've had the kid and now it's all about the kid and it's not about me anymore. Correct yeah. but but the but the point is that a lot of women today yeah. modern yeah. women feminine are yeah. very selfish okay. and you're not even getting that mm -hmm. guys, you're getting thank what you they right, want yeah. thank you right yeah. there yeah. I love you guys you're doing great get ready to party